Check how where my camera was. <laughs> I didn't even check. Sorry, I was tweeting about the event. I forgot. And then I didn't go water. I'm a little tired, guys. Ugh. But today, balls. That's a clip. But today, balls. Man does use Twitter. I like Twitter a lot, actually. Twitter's, Twitter's a fine app. It's definitely different than it used to be, that's for sure. But I like Twitter. Or at least, at least like, I like being on it. Speaking of Emily on that, as we speak. But today, fellas... Today we end an event very long in the making. Ow, oh, my fucking leg. My wrist hurts, too. This might be a shorter stream than usual, because I don't really plan on playing any games on stream afterwards. Oh, my voice is a little shot, too. I apologize. The hype from the last few days has been, has been very, very large, so... <laughs> but today... Balls. Oh, let's watch this. Hey, Rose. Stop being, like, one of the best themes in the game. Real quick. But today, balls. But today, balls. The fucking opera music in the background. But today, balls. Oh! <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Actually, I have like cough drops. Might be able to help me a little bit. Oh, my hair's a mess too. See this shit? See this disaster on my head right now? Oof. Basically, it's fucked though. Anyways, yes, please get some water, salmon. Mm. But we have three matches. That we're going to focus on today. We have the Saul versus myself. And then we have DK. Or Benson versus DK to be more specific. Three Masters 8 are in the finals. Our semifinals of course. Um, as it is. As, as as expected honestly. Oh well, in a way expected. I can't, can't speak for everyone. Ooh. I wish I clipped the matches before because I want to go back and like review them and talk about them. Um, oh, we got a cough drop actually, it's like really bad. I have this whole ass bag of cough drops just like chilling, and they taste really good, so it's a win win for me, honestly. I get to have a nice piece of candy and my voice doesn't fucking die. I say candy, but we know what it all really is. Precious Amazing Lion Not Like This is the name of the clip, by the way. Hey, that's funny. Mm 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 mm. But yeah, we're going to watch, or well, we're going to go through some matches, of course, as per usual. These are the last matches of the tournament. Well, we'll be doing a loser's bracket later on. Not not today. I need more time to, like, prepare and plan it just to make sure. But, for now, 
Mmm. 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 I'm sorry, this is a really delicious. Mm. I don't want to jump just right in. Not immediately. There's some time for people to, to show up that want to show up. Um, but I think we take a moment to like deeply analyze our, um, our final four teams. I think this is a good idea. All right. So the first person technically up is gonna be the saw. So we'll look at the saw's team real quick. All right. So the saw's ace is a septile. Uh, the septile runs a really what I would consider to be a really really good move set. Uh, Leaf blade um, gets in those those high crits with stab and being a, a high power move. Um, Dragon claw for the stab when a mega evolves and also being just a high power move in general. A lot of um. An extra line of defense against dragons other than guard chomp because the song doesn't really have to have too much defense against them otherwise so it definitely gives him that um that edge when it comes to fighting against them detect is just protect from fighting types um it's in a lot of use in this tournament honestly from a lot of different trainers so i'm really happy i like protect a lot i like that there's things that can break through protect as well but we don't have that many people using break break and stuff like that um, or things that break through protect at least. And power up punch gives the saws um subtitle a nice little boost when it needs it. Um, I wish draining punch was on this thing. I think you know, I wish that was a, a move that it could obtain, but unfortunately, it is not. Moving right along, we got a Raichu. Um, his oh, wait, I should have said unburden. Unfortunate sense of abilities there. Because we're running busy no item, but moving on, Raichu. Um, Raichu, also a little bit more of a, a little bit more memey. Um, definitely. Uh, yeah, oh, wait, their whole HP dark. That's really funny. Anyways, obviously the, the token Thunderbolt. This thing never had its EVs done. Anyways. Thunderbolt, typical move, right? Everyone, everyone loves and loves Thunderbolt. We've been seeing a lot of utility, um, just in general with it. Agility helping Reggie out with it's already pretty good speed. Um, Nuzzle giving him that extra chance or guaranteed paralysis with the sacrifice of damage. We did see this come into play in the Souls last match. It was very, very nice to see it actually work because he didn't have to use it the first time. Seismic Toss is a move that I thought did more damage prior to this tournament. Because several, several Pokemon ended up happening, but it only did damage in comparison to the Pokemon, the individual Pokemon's level. Which I find super interesting, actually. Mm, I was unaware um, that it did damage the way that it does. Change my Discord status. Okay. You're trying to tell me I can, I can buy decorations. Why would I buy decorations on Discord? That sounds like a waste of money. At least immediately. But it's moving right along. Right, you. I don't think has the worst uh, move set, but you know, it is what it can. It it, it, well, it was surprising clutch. We got Meloetta. Meloetta is one of the few mythicals in the game. Um, in the in the tournament, um, definitely, I would say the one that showed up the most technically. Um, we do have DK's Faramosa that is still wreaking havoc, kind of just showing up for a fear tactic as we as we've been joking around with it. Um, but Metalotto was kind of hard to make, like, a decent move set for, in my opinion. Um, of course you got, like, the Psychic, but, but the obvious token Psychic. Dazzling Gleam being a really, really nice addition to its, um, to its, uh, lineup already. Ledge Green to help sell the Soul set up some utility, and also Combine to stack it up in the chance that it ends up being in the battle for longer than, um, a Metalotto should be. I don't believe Metalotto has great base stats. 
is just really pretty. Um, it's also like a mascot in a way. Then we of course have the guard chomp. Love getting guard chomp is really really good. Um, just in general. Um, I believe this guard chomp has been going up against mostly physical attackers anyway, so it works out really well get for it. But um, Draco Meteor and Dragon Balls give it a little bit of versatility there, um, with what moves it will and won't, won't use. Which is a little unfortunate because Garchomp is a physical attacker, but the Saucer Garchomp is a little too different. Wanted to make every Pokemon seem a little uh, different from others in the matches. Stuff to do is an interesting choice, but it has helped this thing remarkably well. Like, it has been, it gets real lucky with the tubs, with the substitutes when they happen. So I'm very happy I've gotten the chance to uh, see that. Earthquake, of course, a staple move on pretty much every single team. Earthquake is just good. EQ is just good. It's just a good move. Um, you don't even have to be stabbed with the, the ground, which Scourge Up is in this case, but like, Earthquake is just good. Did I know it did double damage on Dig, but no one has Dig, so it's all good. Corviknight. Corviknight has proven to be a very, very good Pokemon in this tournament. Uh, two trainers have had it, and both trainers that have had it have done really good with, um, with Corviknight. So, very, very interesting to see the one work out that way. Who's winning? I'm only talking about the teams right now. I'm trying to, like, build up some, some time for it. always winning all the win but hi jason how you doing actually i don't know if i have a mod available let me uh do one of these and then one of these come on guy bar rail that's all good jason don't worry my voice is a little shot i'm not gonna lie so i'm probably gonna be a little groggy Hmm. Moving right along. But the I Iron Head um, is just a really, really great move. The U turn, I have not seen a lot of U turn from the Solace Corvette Knight on it. Uh, Drill Pick obviously goes crazy. Um, really, just really, really good move overall. Uh, that that 80 power with 100 accuracy for a flying type move is insane. Um, I always forget that Corvette Knight is primary flying. Who do I think has the best chance to be on, on top? I think it's Benson, honestly. Benson has really, really impressed me um, how his team ended up working out. I think Benson's going to do really, really good like, um, in this in this round. Iron Defense has not seen as much util. It's good. Um, but the Saul having a G-Max for tonight changed things a bit. The Salt Infernape is kind of like a dark horse in his team, in a way. I gave it three punches, all that are boosted by Iron Fist, as far as I'm aware. Focus Punch isn't the thing we've wanted to see. It's the thing we haven't seen. Um, but it would go crazy if it did. I want to see one before the tournament ends, but I don't think we will. Um, Thunder Punch and Fire Punch, already insane in their own right. Stab here. U-Turn has been used a lot by this thing, which is like really, really surprising. Um, but that's the Salt team. I think the Salt has a very, very solid team all around mm. moving on to his competitor me i'm a little biased how many switches are you gonna get today too many too many i made sure all the switches are split up on the wheel though so we're fine but my team i'm obviously a little biased cinderace with libero already goes insane um for those of you who don't know libero changes cinderace's move uh typing to whatever typing the move he uses is as to give him stab every single time um, it's been nerfed in Gen 9, but we're running, we're running Gen 8, so it still works. Um, Acrobatics is a super powerful move, um, in this tournament, because there's little to no items being used. It's with these, like, Z Crystals and, um, Mega Stones, but those Pokemon aren't running Acrobatics. So a Pokemon like Cinderace, which makes it stab after Libero with no item, Acrobatics is double damage. So it's, like, really, really good. Power Bulb, well, it's gonna miss more than it even hits, honestly. Um, but uh, signature move super super good Yes, 
in our in my Cinderace's case during this tournament, Libero has been popping a lot of Scorching Sands. So it's, we've been a ground type for a lot of the tournament, which is like an, uh, an unfortunate um, thing. Because Scorching Sands, I thought, was stronger. It feels much stronger in the games. So I guess my Cinderace is just better. Um, but Scorching Sands isn't bad. We haven't really seen the burn come into play, which I really wish we would. We haven't seen a single high jump kick as far as I'm aware as well. Which is very interesting. We've seen all the other moves except that high jump kick. We went along. Metagross has kind of been a little bit of a, of, uh, a disappointment in the tournament in general, which is surprising because Metagross is fucking awesome. Um, Bullet Punch, um, giving that priority. Definitely really a uh, really good move to hit quick. Light Stream for some utility, some setup. Um, Earthquake, again, a pivotal move. Um, Zen Headbutt has been surprisingly decent in this tournament. Uh, it has that unfavorable ability to miss a shit ton. So... It's a little unfortunate in the regards of um, what we needed to do, but it happens. Mega Metagross has unfortunately not been going as hard as expected for a Mega Evolution. But uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, I understand. Mm. I'm so sorry, my, my throat is like actually really bad right now. And I have a comedy show to go tomorrow. Uh, I'm hungry. I said the thing. I don't know what thing. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Moving right along. Shiny Sylveon. Sylveon's one of my favorite Pokemon. This is all a team for my favorites, by the way, if people don't already know. Um, I'm going to Pixelate. That's where the cookie crumbles. True. Um, Toxic has been surprisingly helpful and has won a lot of people some matches and some good fights in this tournament. Combine for setup, which is on a shit ton of making it just even more of a tank than it already is. Uh, Moonblast, just to make sure it has something it can do crazy. Uh, but Body Slam has been very, very helpful with the fairy type into the pixelate. And it also. Ah. Uh, there's Toxic down here. Combine here. Moon. Moon blast here. Body slam here. Okay, there we go. We did see a mom with Willow Wisp, but they didn't um, didn't end up using it in the tournament, unfortunately. But um, as we mentioned before, like Jason, um, mons with status and elements in the tournament have been really good because there's not a good way to get rid of them. Um. So any side of the ailment has been just really just a nuisance to deal with. Even paralysis has been really bad. So the saw using nuzzle was really huge. Um, the Alola Raichu, um, I believe we're going to get a ma mirror matchup with this. Combine, of course, is set up. Psychic and Thunderbolt are pivotal moves on this thing. Light screen just to make sure we have that extra defense. Um, my Alola Raichu has not shown up because it typically gets one shot. Its defenses are really, really bad. So it's not like it'll really tank any hits. It's a heavy, it's, it's a very much the glass cannon of my team. But, moving on. Azumarill has shown up huge in this tournament. His defenses have been great. Huge power helping out huge with the damage. Belly Drum has been useless. It has killed us more than not. But, uh, Waterfall, Superpower, Play Rough, all the moves have been, like, really, really great in helping us out. Um, and Hydreigon is also in another Pokemon that hasn't shown up. I, I would say half my team is, isn't really there for fights, unfortunately. But Hydreigon did come in clutch. Um, during the last match against Sasuke. Um, Dragon Rush, of course, pretty good move. The accuracy has been in our favor. Scram a wham How you doing, buddy? My throat is kind of shot, so I apologize if I sound bad. I think everyone's getting a little sick, which sucks as I'm on vacation. Um, we're just going over the teams real quick, like Scram. Yes, Belly Drum is very, very a uh, huge gamble. Yeah, Sega is hitting people hard, so I'm, I'm hoping I'm fine by the time of uh, vacation, but it is one of those weeks. But um, that's just the show team. I think my team is still really, really good on paper. I saw that with Baldur. I hope you had a good time. You're feeling sick yesterday as well? Yeah, but I've been talking a shit ton, so my voice is like is like definitely catching up to me. And the thing I plan on playing like League and shit after this. It was a blast. Hell yeah, dude. 
But on to the second match. Uh, we have Benson, of course. Benson's team has been insanely solid during this tournament. Mega Gallade being of actual threat the entire time. Benson probably has the um, league. Not on stream, most likely, Salmon. But probably just for, like, chill. Maybe play some 2K or some other things on my own side. I don't know. I just went on chilling after the Masters 8. But uh, Drain Bunch has been surprisingly good. The Leaf Blade combo going crazy. We haven't seen Poison Jab or Psycho Cut, honestly, on this thing. You're watching Godzilla right now? I think his game just ended, so he might be behind. But this has just been a real good Pokemon overall, man. This Pokemon has just been killing it. Two moves with high crit ratios. One with a stab. Godward Murder last night. Very true. Um, the Situi has been popping off. Spirit Shackle is, is, is a must-have under the Situi. We haven't seen much of this Situi, from what I remember. Um, so hopefully a little bit more of that. Dawn Fan has been around a shit ton. Dawn Fan's a really, really good Pokemon. Um, Gyro Ball and Super Power have been coming in a little clutch. Uh, just, just a good Pokemon on Ben's inside all around. Haxorus has been kind of tanky, and people have not had a lot to deal with it, unfortunately. Um, so, a little interesting piece right there. Granted, it doesn't have a good dragon head move. It's just its other moves just make up for that lack that we gave it. Lapras has been uh, quintessential in a lot of Benson's wins here. Um, this, the, G, the G Max goes in like at the perfect time for Benson every single time. So it works out really great having that tankier coverage. Um, again, Benson is the only trainer to have each gimmick um, in our tournament this time around. So it's really nice to see him, see him that way. Mm. The Umbreon has been really, really good and tanky. Umbreon, this Umbreon is a beast of a man. Um, so it's very, very nice to see Umbreon popping off. But his opponent, uh, DK, is a bit of an interesting one. We saw the Destiny Bond kind of take over at the end there. A little bit of a disrespectful win. Um, but of course, Gigantor, this Golurk, went crazy in its uh, match against Nick. Um... But also, there's an unfortunate typing. We had a matchup for Nick. But, moving on. Gengar's moveset, in general, is just more to stall um, and just be annoying. So, it's hilarious to see it actually work out that way. The little guy has been trying his best, that's for sure. That is for sure. Little bot guy has been a Pokemon. Oh, yeah. That's an would be insane. The little guy doing his little thing. Surprisingly good moveset for something that's in the end, like not doing too hot. Would that be a tie? I think it would be a rematch. I think I would technically have to be a rematch. We have to do it again. Um, Dragobolt has kind of been killing it. Dragon Darts has been really good. Somehow. But just in general, this is just a really good moveset on this thing. The Mega, honestly, I think has been underperforming, but it also has been, like, surviving and killing. This monster needs to be stopped. But, ironically, we didn't even see it in its in the second match. But we have seen a lot of DK with three matches through preliminaries. We saw the preliminary where the thing cracked. Uh, we saw round one where it's cracked, round two where it didn't do anything. Um, so it was kind of just there. Um, the last, I'd say, real big powerhouse in the tournament... Um, would be this Pokemon specifically, rather than full teams. Um, so we'd have to see how that goes. Um, but I think with that, I think it's just about time we get started. Mm. For anyone watching in the VOD, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. For anyone lurking in chat, I appreciate you as well. For everyone here, I appreciate you. Uh, but I think it's time we, we end this tournament. I think it's time this, this year-old plan. Come, hi, Faye. Welcome to the stream. Give you a shout-out real quick. Should I mention the song? I'm not sure if he wants to be here for his match. Should I ask this off what, uh, what are we going to call right now? I'll message him.
figures out. No problem. Call him? No, he's with Annabelle right now. I don't want to interrupt their, their time. Ooh. But I do want to let him know that his match is about to start against me. Wait, maybe I should train, change avatars. Chat, who do we want to be? <laughs> Be Steven Stone. But on Grimsley's because he's hot. Alright, well, then we're not picking Faye's option. I pick Steven Stone because he's hot, so. Arrows will be on the left. Show will be on the right. Oh, that worked out perfectly, didn't it? Mmm. But chat is the beginning of the end. <laughs> Why can't you be Show from my favorite hit game, Pokemon Legend Arceus? Why can't you be Elyon from my favorite hit game, um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Bad design, honestly, if you ask me. All right, coin flip. It begins, chat. The Saul will get first Pokemon. Show will get first move. The Saul is leading out with his ace. And I will be leading out with Raichu. Not the best matchup, I would say, on either side, honestly. Oh, snaps. The saw, you're a funny guy. The saw. I am here. <laughs> Alright, wait, let me. I turned off the sound this time. Hmm. Alright. First move will be shows. Second move will be the saw side. The saw. Rank number one and number two. I feel like we knew this was going to happen at some point. Oh god, the cheering is still happening. How do I... I turned off the applause. Mm. Mm. Alright, looks like the saw will be switching out. into Meloetta, giving a show a free setup there. Oh shit, I hope you're okay, Aldo. Well, Jason, you asked how many switches we're going to get, and the Saul's getting another switch into Garchomp this time. So we've already had two in the first two turns. We landed on gimmick. There is no gimmick to use on this Pokemon. We got a Nimona fan. Right, we're going to get a Psychic, though, from Alolan Raichu. Oh, big damage on Garchomp there. Ah, yes. Switching. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that's another psychic from a lowland Raichu. Let's see how the Saul responds. All right, the Saul will respond with a substitute, which I'm not sure will actually. Pro oh shit! Never mind, doesn't even get the chance. Raichu takes down the Saul's guard chomp. That is a huge hit. That is a huge hit to the Saul. Um, but the Saul will go out with Meloetta once again. All right, the Saul's move is up now. All right, the Saul will be going for a light screen. And let's see how Show responds. 
the sh uh, sh the show. I will say the show. Show will be using a psychic one more time, getting a hit in before, but Mother Wetter resists, so it doesn't mean do much. Light screen is set up. All right, show will be using a thunderbolt this time. And the saw will respond with a psychic. Thunderbolt doing not as much because of the light screen. Psychic doing a resistant damage. Pretty much a stall between two psychic types, but the the passive of psychic pops. So Raichu is back to a normal special defense. Trainers explode. No. <laughs> the saw any song request for our epic battle. Meloetta is now going to be setting up. So we will be having a toxic, uh, not toxic, a psychic stall battle. It seems. Which, by the way, I might technically have the upper hand after this. Hope everyone's having a good day, by the way. We got a gimmick again, so I can't do anything about that. But Raichu is also going to set up a light screen, it looks like. So just a pure, uh, turn of pure setup for both sides. Raichu's light screen will last a little bit longer, so it might help a bit. But it doesn't have the same special defense boost that uh, Meloetta currently has. Um, I spoke too soon. Um, we're gonna get a calm mind from Raichu. And Meloetta will respond with a switch, so the calm mind was kind of useless. <laughs> but let's see how the Saw responds. The Saw will respond with Corviknight. <laughs> And the Saw will be using a drill peg that'll burn right through the defenses here. Balls having a light screen, so Raichu can't really do much unless it lands the move. Um, it doesn't seem to land the move, but it will be using a psychic here, which is hugely resisted by Corviknight here. But drill peg does not kill because of also resistance. Mm -hmm. Show's probably gonna try to take down the Corviknight's HP to a certain point so we can get that gimmick pop. Uh, speaking of gimmick, we got it on Raichu once again. Ooh. And we got the gimmick roll twice in a row. Raichu really holding it down after not really doing much of anything else in this tournament. Uh, we're getting another Psychic. Another Psychic. That is a little bit unfortunate here. Um, but we're going to see how the Saw responds... The Saw will respond with an Iron Defense, interestingly enough. Um, we're at 47, not enough to proc the Gigantamax, but it is the Saw's uh, first choice here. Double Defense, Light Screen is gone. Um, blue Light Screen left last, last turn, so it did a little bit more damage. The Saw will be using U-Turn, so it doesn't... Um, that'll be an interesting. It might, it'll definitely kill Raichu if it hits. Um, but the stat change will go away. Raichu's going to be using Thunderbolt, though. Which will kill Corviknight. Alright. The Saw is in quite the precarious situation. But since Cor uh, Corviknight is now dead. If we were to get gimmick uh, for anyone that can use a Gigantamax. The Gigantamax will proc. Alright. The Saw is going to be going into Infernape next. Um, and I believe it is Raichu's move. Doom, 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 doom. But Raichu will be switching out after taking care of the business. Raichu had a real good showing there, taking out two. We'll switch into Sylveon next. Um, and let's see what the Saw uses. It'd be really funny if it does the thing we wanted to do. Oh my god, it's gonna do the thing! Fellas! It's focusing. Too bad it's resistant, but it did the thing. Fellas! <laughs> It did the funny thing. Got another cough drop. All right, we get gimmick. So it looks like Infernape will be doing Gigantamax, actually. Ooh, thanks, Evan. All right, we got gimmick twice in a row. That's kind of funny. Is that a bad idea? 
All right, we're gonna see a max glare. Yes, your Corviknight is already dead. So your di uh, your Dynamax pops in in its stead. Yeah, Corviknight got was at forty seven, and I got hit by a Thunderbolt by Raichu. We're gonna see a Calm Mind from Sylveon here. That's a big monkey. Max Flare Pops does a good chunk. Sunny Day is up. Sylveon now has defenses, but it might be a little too late. Because uh, I do not believe it outspeeds, but not by a long shot. And everything uh, that happens from Infernape's side will probably kill Sylveon right now. Uh, uh, Sylveon's going to set up one more time. That's a little bit unfortunate. Mm -mm. Gasol responds with a max knuckle. Which will most likely kill. Un oh, unfortunate. Just just barely enough. Well, there goes Sylveon. Gasol is on the board. And we're going to see Raichu come right back out. Raichu does outspeed here. So we'll have to see what happens. I believe it is the Saul's move. The Saul is going to be using a max lightning, which I don't think kills Raichu actually here, but his defenses are pretty shit, so it all depends on what it actually uses. Been spamming Psychic all day. Actually, these gimmicks, that's not something we have. It is going to use a Thunderbolt, which will not do enough. But Max Lightning does do enough. Okay. The Saul come out, bringing it right back with the Gigantamax Infernape. Or Dynamax Infernape. Okay, I did there. Get it. Metagross is coming out. So like, next might not be in the greatest positions here with uh, the moveset that the Saul has available. Uh, but his attack is now increased as well. So this is a very, very strong thing. We're going to get a Fire Punch from Infernape. Let's see how Metagross responds. Metagross will respond with a Bullet Punch. The resistance there. Wow, one shot, dude. What the fuck? Oh my god. And just like that, the Saw is in the lead. Praise the sun. Yep, stab, attack boost, and sun. Very true. All right, we're gonna be getting a play rough from Azumarill here. Let's see how the saw responds. The saw will respond with a focus punch, which is unfortunate because it'll be a free hit for Azumarill and a kill actually. Huge power going crazy. This match is going back and forth. We're going to see a Sceptile from the Saw, though. This might be a tough match for Azumarill. But it all really depends on what the Saw ends up doing here with his um, with his turn. The Saw will be power-up punching, which might come to bite Azumarill in the ass. But we're going to see. We did see a focus punch already at the Saw. You focus punch Sylveon. Azumarill will be using super power. Ooh, a good hit there. Um, bringing the solid down to 8%, which is a free mega. With 8% puts the solid in a very interesting situation. We're going to see a play rough from Azumarill with lower defenses and attacks. But it should be enough to kill as long as it can get there. Definitely does not outspeed, though. The Mega Sceptile will be using Detect first, knowing it'll go for the kill. Good move. Saving it at least one more turn. Ooh, this is gonna be huge. This all's gonna be using Leaf Blade. Might kill Azumarill here with that, honestly. Unless Azumarill, Azumarill switches out, actually. Azumarill will be switching out into Hydreigon. Good for a little reset for his stats. Hydreigon does uh, does take the hit. Takes the hit pretty well, honestly. Um, does not outspeed, though. So I think one more hit might... Actually, well, it depends. 
Um, so Saul is going to be using a Dragon Claw. That's definitely going to hurt. That's definitely... Def wait, wait. It's not the Saul's move. I switched, so it's actually Dragon Dance. And the Saul will be using Leaf Blade. I apologize. Uh, not enough to kill, unfortunately, but we're getting the Dragon Dance. The speed is up. It now outspeeds. I'm glad I remembered that. I apologize, everyone. Um, now it is the, uh, the Saul's move. So I'll be using Detect. Very smart play from the Saw here. Making sure it doesn't get killed. No, don't worry. Yeah, you landed the Focus Punch. Ah, uh, but it means nothing. Hydragon is going to get a free switch. And switch back into Azumarill. I think Azumarill wants its kill. Alright, Azumarill again does not outspeed. Um, only one or two moves from the Saw can really do much. Um, but Azumarill is going to be using Play Rough, which is going to be huge if it is able to land. Don't apologize, though. It's, oh, it's okay. Um, we're getting a power-up punch from Sceptile. Definitely won't do anything to Azumarill. Um, and Azumarill gets a free kill. So Saul's ace is down. Lasted longer than I expected. But we're down to a, th a 3v2. Show is just so ever slightly in the lead. And the Saul will be sending in Meloetta once again. I believe it is Meloetta's turn. Meloetta will be using a Psychic. Alright, not a bad move in his death. Azumarill always puts in work. I don't know what it is with this Azumarill, man. I love this little guy. Alright, we are getting a Belly Drum from Azumarill. Ooh. Belly Drum fails because of the low HP, unfortunately. A good hit from Azu uh, from Aloetta, honestly. The Stab Psychic did way more than expected. Azumarill's special defense is not as big. Well, it is technically bigger, actually. Alright, we'll be seeing a superpower from Azumarill. Mm -mm. And Meloetta responds with a Dazzling Gleam, which I don't think will do enough for the kill. Nope, it, uh, Azumarill survives, and that kills Meloetta. Uh, leaving the Saul with just right you. The Saul is in quite the precarious situation, but I think it would not be it won't be a bad comeback. Alright, the Saul is up next. The Saul will be using a nuzzle, a little bit of the guaranteed kill on a zoom roll here. All it really needs to do is land and it outspeeds, so I think a zoom roll is just dead. Not really much it can do. Uh, it's gonna go for a belly drum, just in case. <laughs> but a zoom roll goes down. Alright, going to High Dragon again. Show saving his ace for last, being kind of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> um, Raichu does outspeed here. So unless it uses a certain move, I believe this is also a kill on High Dragon. We're going to get a Stone Edge on High Dragon's side. Raichu is going to use Seismic Toss, which will be a guaranteed kill on High Dragon. So it is down to the last two. Sho still has his, uh, his uh, Gigantamax on his ace here. And that could be the deciding factor, honestly. But Raichu is up next. Raichu will be using Seismic Toss. Let's see how Sho responds. Bidding for one and two, yep. Sho will be responding with an Acrobatics. Which will do good damage here and also make uh, the fighting time to move not do as much. Well, it wouldn't matter, actually. It's, only, it's a base 100. Cinderace, but we did see Cinderace outspeeds there by a landslide, actually. Um, so we will see an agility from the Saw, actually. That might be the ceiling move, though. Ooh, but it all depends on if Sho can land this. We're seeing a high jump kick. And it lands. That should be game. And there goes the match. GG's. GG's all around. The Potentate defeats round two. Proving that he is the strongest trainer. Well played. Very well played. Honestly, a pretty solid, straightforward match all around. I think it that match did a good job at having pretty much every Pokemon... On, e on both teams do something. I think the only thing I can think of that didn't do anything was like High Dragon. 
That was a good match. That was a good match. But the show has made it to the finals. Um, we will see who moves on alongside him. Good match this off. Thank you for the match. Thank you for the match. But I had Cynthia and you had Steven Stone. It was we were, it was never the same. Cinderace not coming in until the very end was very, very clutch, I would say, honestly. Mm. But that just leaves us with two more matches, everyone. On the left side. We have Benson. On the right side, we have DK. So let me message Benson, let him know his match is about to start. I'm not sure if he's lurking. Oh, yes. Hugs all around. Hug at Arrows Omega. Yo, what the fuck, stream? I'm on there you go. <laughs> mm. GG's. Yes, GG's indeed. You did wonderfully in this tournament. I'm very happy how it all went. Get my funeral on camera for me, fucking Benson. <laughs> All right, but with that, we will start. Going to be a crazy match, I, I think. I think Benson's got this in the bag, personally. All right, heads left, tails right. All right, this, uh, DK gets first Pokemon, Benson gets first move. DK's going to be leading with uh, Gen Galimbo. And Benson will be leading with Umbreon. Interesting start. Both kind of tanky Pokemon. My money is still on Benson, personally. Benson's going to be going for a sucker punch. The wall, uh, ding the wall show up, yes. Depends on how my match went. Uh, I beat uh, the saw. Uh, six to five. It was down to his Raichu at like half HP and my full health Cinder with G Max that it didn't use <laughs> all right this thing has been a nuisance in a lot of teams but i feel like it still has underperformed um by my standards uh we're gonna see a nightshade soccer not gonna do much against the dark typing but nightshade gonna do a, a chunk there Yeah, yeah, foul play won't do much against the dark type. Both of these Pokemon don't really have much they can do against each other, which makes this match a little uh, a bit interesting. But it looks like Benson's actually gonna switch here. <laughs> Let's see what Benson switches into. Uh, Benson will be switching into his Dawn fan, which is gonna probably tank this foul play. Never mind, that did more than expected. Battle of Attrition. Who holds out the longest? Uh, but it looks like Benson gave in in that regard. Uh, but we're going to see an Earthquake. This thing is going to levitate, so that should not hurt, but it should do a decent. Actually, it might hurt a lot. Oh, it's defense. Way higher than I thought it was. We'll see. Another one of Benson's walls here. Benson has a, like, a decent amount of tanks, honestly. But we're going to see a Pain Split, which is interesting decision, but... Ooh, Earthquake Pops at the Mega. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Another foul play. Yeah, it definitely outspeeds. We're gonna see a gyro ball. Interesting. Does nothing. Foul play hurting hard. Don Fan is kinda taking an L right now. It still is kind of a war of attrition, though. This, this uh, Mega is going crazy. Gimmick not gonna pop. Benson hasn't used his Pokemon yet for it. Is brutal. Putting on another EQ. I'm not sure it actually hits, uh, lands it off here. But we'll have to see based off this next move. We are getting foul play. But the EQ lands first. Jen Golombino goes down. That's a huge hitter for DK out of the mix already. We're going to see a Gengar next. This Gengar being the the problem of Nick. Benson kind of getting a little bit of a redemption match for, on Nick's behalf here. All right, I believe it is. It is Gengar's turn. I believe it's Gengar's turn. So we're gonna see a Destiny Bond. The move that took out Nicholas last time. And in response, we'll see a superpower, which isn't gonna do anything here. Which is, it would probably might, might be a good thing. Might be, well, definitely is a good thing. I think it's not, this just doesn't have to kill for one more turn. Uh, we're gonna see a gyro ball from John Fan. Versus another Destiny Bond, which is interesting. Destiny Bond automatically fails because of that. Decent amount of damage with Gyro Ball, actually. Gengar is doing the troll thing. And we'll be using Toxic. We've already seen how annoying Toxic can be in these tournaments. Or these matches. Not really anything to prevent Toxic from popping off here. Benson will be using an Earthquake so that it'll Toxic at the cost of its life. <laughs> But Benson currently does have a commanding lead. But we'll be switching into Pheromosa. The monster is out to play. Might be a bad situation for it. But Benson is up first, so Benson has the chance to do something here. We're going to see a superpower. I'm not sure if it'll get the chance to even hit it. But it all depends on what happens next here. We're going to see an agility. Ooh, good chunk of damage there against that beast. Will Benjin be the first to claim Faramosa as defeated? We'll have to see. Faramosa will be using a Bug Buzz. Which will seal the deal on Donphan. Unless, I think, Gyroball takes Pryo. Oh, I might be wrong. Ben's going to be using Iron Defense a little too late. Unfortunately, Pheromos is going to get the Beast Boost special attack. It is becoming a threat once again. But Benson has quite the team to try to handle it. Um, and he will be going into Lapras next. Alright, Lapras will be using Dragon Pulse here. Oh, definitely doesn't outspeed after, oh, yeah, dude. after the agility boost from earlier. And we'll be seeing another agility. So that actually might be it for Faramosa here. And down goes the monster. The monster has been slain. Benson avenging every challenger that had to deal with that. Benson is in a very good position right now. But out comes Gigantor. Not a really good matchup right now. Benson is a is a monster hunter, if I may. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was awful. Don't laugh. Alright. I believe it is... Is it Benson's move? Yes. It's Benson's move. No. It is Gigantor's move. 
We're getting a high horsepower here. Let's see how Benson responds. Benson will respond by switching out, which might not be the best move for him at the moment. It all depends who he switches to. He'll be switching into Decidueye, who should tank this, actually. Good switch by Benson. Pretty much any of his Pokemon could have handled that. Probably the only one I would be afraid of is maybe Glade. Uh, but Benson will be using a Spirit Shackle. It's going to be huge damage against this thing. And Gigantor will respond with another high horsepower. Ooh, it almost one shot with the Spirit Shackle there. All right, Benson will be using an automatic Z move just to seal the deal here. Gigantor will be going for another high horsepower. Benson is in an amazing position once again. And we're going to see Little Guy. This is a uh, bit unfortunate. Isn't it? <laughs> We're going to see a curse from Little Guy. Mm -hmm. Well played by Benson. Once again, Benson wants to play no games. Benson has seen the matches prior. Who will be switching out, giving Little Guy a free setup. Uh, switching into Umbreon. Ooh, that might not be good for Little Guy here. Lower speed, but his defense and attack are now raised. Mm -hmm. Benson is up and going to pop a substitute from Umbreon. Could be a blessing or a curse there. And Little Guy will be popping an Ancient Power. Which I think will do enough to take that. Not enough to take out the substitute, unfortunately. Our little guy is up. Ooh, he'll be switching. Little guy will be switching out, unfortunately. After all that setup. He'd technically do something, I guess. And we'll get a sucker punch from Benson, which won't do anything because of the switch in. Benson's going to pop another substitute, unfortunately, here. Well, it's depending on, I think, Unibomber outspeeds, but actually it might not be a bad move. We're getting the infamous Dragon Darts once again. Oh my god, wait. Is Dragon Darts hitting through substitute? That's crazy. That's actually insane. I didn't know that. Benson is going to go for a Sucker Punch here, which might do a decent amount of damage just to this thing. Well, we're getting a Phantom Force. Ooh, super effective. Oh, about half there. The Substitute still stands on, uh, though. Infiltrator, you're right. You're right. Another Sucker Punch, which unfortunately will miss. And Phantom Force will not kill Umbreon. We're getting a uh, Psychic Fangs. And a curse, interestingly enough. But the substitute uh, or Umbreon stands, it's immune. But Umbreon is switching out, actually. Interesting move by Benson Dimension. Putting into a hacks race. This could be bad. And it would be. We're getting a Dragon Darts. Haxorus breaking the mold. Benson unfortunately switching into a stray on the Haxorus. 
An unnecessary hit there. Back to Lapras, though. We're getting a Phantom Force. And Benton will be using Ancient Power. So it is a miss. We're getting a Blizzard from Lapras. If this hits, that'll be huge. And it hits! It's all up to Little Guy now. Which is a very, very tall order. <laughs> Benton's up, and he will use Gimmick to make sure he can seal the deal here. We're going for a Max Geyser. And an Ancient Power. Uh, the little guy might be finished here. Max guys are one shots. A very easy, clean Benzin win. Chat. Your finalists are showing Benzin. Rank number one will be going up against rank number four in the final match. I hope it's a draw. How? How would it be a draw? It's like impossible for it to be a draw. Yeah, Benson actually fucking nutted everywhere. But that brings us to our final match, chat. All that planning. All that time. For this. The championship match. I'm going to make another tweet. Benson is in disbelief. I'm going to send something to myself. Give me one quick second, chat. Thank you for the mention of the server, that's all I see that. Uh, 
uh, will show be dethroned. One, uh, by one of his closest friends, or will Benson uh, see the writing on the wall of his defeat? Come find out. Twitch.tv forward slash show. We're finally here. A year in the plan in the in the works of planning. Thank you to everybody in chat who is here to watch this. Anyone who watches the VOD, I appreciate you as well. It's kind of like, hmm. It's kind of sad in a way, you know? We've gone through all this timing and planning, and we're finally at the end. I've had a blast with the Masters 8. What are you thinking? I don't know. I still think Benson's got this. His team has just been so, so good. And my team has had a lot of um, disappointments um, and just like a lot of close calls. Benson has had a relatively easy path here. So I, I guess we just we just jump right into it. We just see what happens. You know how it is. Heads left, tails right. The last ta uh, the last surprise there isn't anyone else here to watch. It's okay. Um, it is. I, I'm not gonna lie. It was a little disappointing, especially because like the preliminaries. And the, um, in the first and second round, we're, like, so hype. And, like, everyone was, like, loving them. It is a really weird timing, though. I will, I won't lie. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. This was the worry with having any plan. But I'm, I'm having a good time still. My voice really is killing me. My voice is really killing me. Um, so I'm kind of happy it's, like, not like insanely hype but it, it is what it is i i do want to like repost these on youtube and stuff like that um so we'll, we'll see we'll see how things go but it is, it is the nature of it yeah my you did karaoke which is like totally valid i need my voice to not be murdered by the time i make it to california that's all i'm caring about maybe we will keep streaming afterwards after this but i also just kind of want to chill because I got a pack. But I really wanted to get the Master's Eight done before we leave. But, um, coin flip says, I get first choice. Benson will get first move. I'm leading with Metagross. Benson is leading with Umbreon. Let the final match of the Master's Eight begin. Benson! You're here for the final. And right off the bat, Benson is switching out. Benson will be switching out into Dawn Fan. And in response. I respond with a light screen. Dawn 
Zen headbutt. Okay, this is way more epic than I thought it was going to be with the song. Cra yeah, crazy to think it ended up being you and I, Benson. Not going to lie. Zen headbutt's going to land a decent chunk of damage. Gyro ball, not going to do much with the resistance there. Benson is going to switch out yet again. This time switching back into Umbreon. Of all two, yeah. It almost feels rigged. It isn't rigged. I'm sorry. That, that might have alluded to something else. We're going to get an Earthquake from Metagross. Super tanking. What are we doing? Yeah, look at us. Who expected us? Not me. <laughs> Metagross chipping away at Benson's team as it continues to switch out. And it will use its gimmick. Wait, is it Metagross' turn? I forgot. Chat. I'm going to say it's Metagross. I forgot. Two goofy goobers in a goofy tournament. So true. So true. Metagross will mega and go for a bullet punch. No more Goofy Goober rock time. All right, Benson will be using Substitute, but will not get in before Bullet Punch. So Substitute will take Umbreon down to quite a bit. We are getting a Dark Pulse from Umbreon. That might hurt a bit, but the light screen is going to help out a bit. Oh, I didn't spin again. Leave it for the epic orchestral music to be the last music for the for the for the tourney. If Metagross survives, we are getting an earthquake. Oh, earthquake. Oh, what? Earthquake doesn't take care of substitutes somehow, which is interesting. But it definitely tanks because of the um, the light screen. A real good choice by Show earlier on. Ooh, we're getting a Zen headbutt from Metagross. How will Benson respond? Benson responds with a curse. Setting itself up to be a little bit more tanky, but suffering at the sand of his speed and attack. That was no damage to the light screen, Benson. But Benson will be using Sucker Punch. Almost switched. Almost switched out. This is a crazy start. We're seeing a Sucker Punch, and then an Earthquake. Sucker Punch hurts! Earthquake goes. This is a match. Eight turns in, not a single defeat yet. Show will be switching out. Switching out into Raichu. This might be a bad switch. Might be a real bad switch. But it is a safe switch because Sucker Punch pops. Benz was expecting Metagross to stay in, but Show doesn't want to lose it just yet. Benz will be popping a Dark Pulse, which might certainly kill Raichu here. Raichu will be popping a Psychic, unfortunately. Dark Pulse will not one-shot. Alright, that is the two-move clause going into effect. Raichu will be setting up a light screen for the team. Well damn. Umbreon will be using Substitute, which I don't believe will do anything at its current HP. It does, though! Umbreon proving the tank status that it has, going for another curse. I fought it. I fought it. I fought it. I fought it. 
I fought it. <laughs> we'll be getting a Thunderbolt from Pikachu. A Thunderbolt from Pikachu taking out uh, Raichu, I mean, taking out the uh the uh God damn it. The um substitute. Very risky move from Umbreon. But it all depends on this move. Raichu's using another light screen. Actually, is it right? Yes, it's right. It was right here. Umbreon going for another substitute. Wait, they both went, did double moves. Well, that works out, I guess. Benson is switching out. Decidueye comes out to battle. What will Decidueye face on its outcome? It'll be facing a Psychic. Not big enough damage, unfortunately. This has been an interesting start. Raichu outspeeds and will be moving first with a Thunderbolt. What will Decidueye do in response? The Shizuai will go for the knockoff here. Thunderbolt does nothing with the restriction. Knockoff should kill. And that's the first down. It's the start of all time, it is. Metagross will be coming back out. The Shizuai's move here, it does not outspeed. The Shizuai will be using its Z move. If it can live an attack, if it can live an attack, which it most likely will, Metagross will fall. Metagross will be using Zen Headbutt and misses at a pivotal moment. Metagross misses the clutch Zen Headbutt when it needed to land. But Sho will not be playing around. Cinderace comes out right after. Unfortunately, Cinderace will be going for a high jump kick. Actually, no, wait, that's Benson's move. So Benson's going for a knockoff. No, wait, no, it is. Wait, yeah, Benson's move. Oh, well, it ended up being the same thing anyways. It technically counts as a miss. That is a free Gigantamax for Cinderace. Show gets gimmick on the wheel. We'll be seeing a Max Quake. Shadow Sneak in response against the Fighting type. Might not do enough. Doesn't do enough to kill. Max Quake hits. Restricted damage. Special defense is up on Cinderace. Benson is going to be going for a Spirit Shackle. Show lands gimmick again. This will constitute a double move, technically, because of the fighting type. You're seeing another Max Quake. A bad move from Sho. Unfortunate Cinderace falls. Sho is down three to nothing. Decidueye putting in work. This is Show's move, I believe. 
He'll be switching out into High Dragon. High Dragon switching into a knockoff, which won't do anything. Getting another knockoff from Decidueye. And an EQ from High Dragon, which will not kill Decidueye somehow. This is crazy. Stone Edge from the High Dragon. Decidueye is switching out. And we'll be switching out into Dawn Fan. Who's gonna tank that Stone Edge? Dawn Fan will be switching out again into Decidueye. Wait, that's not Decidueye. Wait. One, two, three, that's Haxorus. Could be bad for Haxorus. And it looks like it will be. We're getting a Dragon Rush. And it lands in one shot. Haxorus catches a stray. Show finally on the board. Umbreon is up. Another Stone Edge from High Dragon. Anything would have killed this Umbreon, technically, but we're going to go with that, I guess. Umbreon will be using Curse, but it doesn't even matter. Umbreon falls. The Hydreigon comeback. Wait. Okay. Delayed is coming out to play now. I believe it is Gallade's move. The label be using poison jab. High Dragon responds with a Stone Edge. Restricted damage. Poison jab brings it to 44. This is crazy. We are getting a Dragon Dance. Come back is going crazy. Another poison jab from Gallade. Really hoping for that poison proc. And it procs! It's down to one! High Dragon needs to get one good move off. Before Gallade's Leaf Blade hits. The first time he used his fucking poison jab, it poisons. That's crazy. High Dragon is switching out into Sylveon. Sylveon tanks. He hasn't used it all tournament, just used it twice. Another Leaf Blade from Gallade. We're getting a Calm Mind from Sylveon. <laughs> Sylveon is switching out. We got a nerf switch next time. We got a nerf switch next time. It's so crazy. Another Leaf Blade. Oh, I'm going to lose, fellas. I'm going to lose. The lead is switching out into Decidueye. 
No, you're not. Trust? Okay. All right, Benson, if you say so. Play rough from Azumarill. That'll take out the Sidua. It fucking missed! You can't make this up. You can't make this up. It ain't over till it's over, that's true. This Pidgeot is gonna go for the Spirit Shackle. That's probably gonna kill. I have been missing all the accuracy checks. That's so crazy, bro. <laughs> Hydragon has one HP. It outspeeds, but it's gonna die. <laughs> Knock off, just did you I. Hi, Dragon. Do one thing. Yes. He takes out the situation before he falls himself. This is not looking good. You still have your Mega and your G-Max. I have nothing. A huge tank at half HP. We got switch. The little Sylvia on that could. I get. I not. I don't know. This is all attacking moves. All attacking moves and all attacking moves, pretty much. So, Sylvia sets up a calm mind. That's C. True. Agent power. Oh God. We'll see what happens. We're getting a Dragon Pulse from Lapras. I remember someone saying they wanted to make this one out of three. I think I... I'll let you guys decide if that's the right thing to do. Because I, I don't want it to seem like I want my, my person to win so badly that I want to do best out of three. Okay, I got switched twice in a row, bro. Switch has to be nerfed. We're getting a body slam. There's nothing. There's fucking nothing. Another body slam. Surf is up. The paralysis. Agent power. The Sylvia on that could. It's gonna use toxic though. Oh my god. Gimmick again. It's too low on HP. Lapras is switching. It's a Dawn fan. Dawn fan is going to tank a body slam. Oh my god. One moon blast, bro. One moon blast to save my life. Landed on gimmick. Oh 
Oh god, Toxic. Toxic has won matches before. It all depends on what this Dawn fan does right now. It's over. It's over. It used Gyro Ball. It's over. That's the match. Ladies and gents, we have a champion. GG's. GG's, Benson. Your team was too powerful. That's your team was dominant. And I missed the two moves I needed to hit. I hit two moves that I absolutely needed to hit. That's so unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Fraud the leader. Rob the leader. Why am I even ranked number one? <laughs> Best out of three for fun, Benson. Best out of three for fun. <laughs> it has been a really fun tournament. I'm really happy with how it all turned out. Everyone was saying we should do best out of three for the fun. Okay, the anal kids that. Everyone was saying it should be best out of three for the final anyways. You're still champion, Benson. But we'll, we'll see if your match was all luck. I'm getting first pick. Your team was just good, Benson. Your team is way too good. Nah, there's no way. Dark Pulse. Kid the anal, keep the sex. Dragon Rush. Nice. Nice. Sucker Punch. Wait, it's not your turn. Dragon Rush. Benson wins. I miss. Of course I fucking miss. If we do this again, I'm switching up my team. Because some of those Pokemon I just replaced. Because they're not my top six anymore. Well, next time Gen 9 is allowed. So I think everyone's team is going to get a little bit of a switch up. But Ben's in one, Aldo. We're doing best out of three for fun now. Because everyone said the last round should be best out of three. And I wanted to agree. But I don't want it to seem like I just want my trainer to win. Benson won fair and square. Trust me, there were plenty of times I was like, I want to cheat this move. I don't think this is correct. I wouldn't make this decision. No, there will be a restriction on legendaries, mythicals, or anything of the sort. You will not be running anything that is considered too powerful. Garatina, Faramosa, I've already shown that that's not going to be happening next time. Any legendaries will automatically knock you out of contention for the tournament to begin with. Yeah, no full RCS team. Sorry, Aldo. I had to ruin fun.
if I end up allowing, um, this is like the first battle, Benton. We're just stalling each other. Actually, I think it was technically Stone Edge. Um, if I do allow legendaries, they're gonna have like tackle, like they're gonna have shitty move sets, cause they're it's just like they're too they're too strong. So that that much is apparent. Our teams can go head to head for a while, which is like that's what I wanted. <laughs> True. What if it's just Aldo's Mewtwo from Unite, and that's it? Nothing else. <laughs> but I would like to do this again with more trainers. Okay, that's substitute twice in a row. So we're not going to do that. Umbreon switch. I, at least my prediction was right. I predicted early. I'm like, Benson's gonna win. Benson's team is way too good. Especially seeing it in act, like live in action. His team is just insane. Switch up from High Dragon, dude. It's that's so insane. All that set up just to switch, man. Every time. Instant gimmick. Oh my god. We do X from Hit Game Pokemon Unite. <laughs> True, actually. already have the gimmick popping. Your team has too many tanks, Benson. Your team has way too many tanks. That's Gigantamax Lapras. Yeah, it's dope. I love this little guy. Oh, I guess it wouldn't be a little guy, but... Green grapes, graps, green graps. <laughs> Put them in the freezer. Uh, my brother always has grapes from the freezer like that. I think he quite enjoys it. Oh, Benson missed. Hey, I didn't miss a move for once. Benson did. What are the odds? lived I can't buy a thunderbolt right now
I'm gonna say Cobb Mine is detrimental to the battle. I cannot buy a Thunderbolt right now. I cannot buy a Thunderbolt. Yo. Number four comes out. Of course, Bedsmith serve. <laughs> Jesus, that did way more. What the fuck? That was crazy. I did not expect it to do that much damage. Oh, yikes. I think it was Pyro Ball and then Drain Punch. Oh! Oh! The two aces going at it is actually crazy. I would have loved to see this last in the actual match. Alright, Switch means nothing here. We're gonna, we're gonna use gimmick. What? I hope everyone had a good time with the tournament. I put a lot of like time and effort into it, and I had, and it was really fun to plan and work with my buddies and everything on it. Max Quake doesn't kill. Psycho Cut might. It doesn't. It was fun. That's fine. That's And you were sick, man. I really don't expect that. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. People have been telling me they've been watching the VOD for the matches, and the map makes me really happy. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> the last one was fun. Did you see why I was a fraud, Aldo? You see why I'm a fraud? <laughs> I made the mistake when it came to it. So what I basically did was I, when I did it, I was rolling the wheel and I pressed remove all instances instead of close somehow. So the wheel literally wasn't the same. So I, I was like, that's unfair to the match, but it was technically about to end. So it seemed really, really suspect. So we did a best out of three and I ended up winning best out of three. So, I, ke I kept writing the joke that show is a fraud. And Sasuke was like, it's fine. I just, I'm, but he joked with it too, because he's Sasuke. He's like, I'm going to call my lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not a fraud. Show not the fraud. I believe it is technically show. Show not the fraud or whatever. Oh, wait. It didn't even land on number two. I'm sorry. I jumped the gun. Yeah. I preferred the, the best out of three. Because I felt bad that I, I essentially robbed Sasuke of a clean win. And, but he was just like, look at best of three. And I was like, alright. Alright, Max Knuckle. But it was fun to, to have like a clause and see that. Oh, the sucker punch. Either way, the tournament was really fun all around. We saw some really, really good moments.
match is closer than the last one. Jesus. This is the I went so crazy. You gotta switch. Oh wait, it's technically one of two. So still be on. I'm gonna switch on this side as well. You have to remember, Faye, you're putting your team in my hands. So I'm either gonna make them accidentally amazing or accidentally awful. There is no in between. Like. Because <laughs> the teams that were good were really good, but the teams that were bad were kind of bad. <laughs> like. I'll smack you. If I make your team bad, it's not on purpose. See, I need I could have needed that. Last match, if I had hit a fucking that with the stats up, I would have fucking swept. I would have had a comeback if I had hit one moon blast. But I was doing decent damage with body slam, so I didn't want to consider it. Um Contrary to advancement of the battle. That's what happened last night with some other matches prior. There were moves that would have been way better. Um, but the moves that they were doing weren't doing bad damage. So I can't just like substitute because I think it'll be a better decision. The Michael treatment. Michael's was so unfortunate. It was really unfortunate. I The RNG did not smile that day. Yes, it is actually. Ragtag Mac Jr. I'm sorry, I, I'm <laughs> I haven't mentioned I've been so focused on the, the randomization, but here is charity. If you have anything to, um, to support, I would really appreciate it being sent there. Look at me being a bad streamer. Thank you, Thassal. It's a pleasure to meet you though. Ragtag Mag Jr. That's a really fun name. I like that. Yo, is that the Ragtag Mag Jr.? <laughs> Ragtag Mag. <laughs> I'll get this off my screen. There we go. Number two. Moon Blast. I can't. Dude, look at this. If I could just use Moon Blast more. I should have gone Dazzling Gleam instead of Body Slam. I think that would have been better. <sighs> Oh, okay. Gimmick. <laughs> but yeah, we're trying to raise some fundraising towards Maui Fire Recovery. It's my last stream before I go on vacation as well. Oof. Alright, watch well, this. Dead Sylveon. But no Z-move to deal with. So this might be a little bit of an easier match. Right on. I brew and we just made a beer for the Mauer recovery. Oh, that sounds awesome. Well, thank you for also supporting the cause. I appreciate that. Can I call you Mag? Is Mag, Mag okay? I'm sorry. My voice is really shot. We've been having a, a, a tournament for a while. And, um, and I've been kind of yelling and talking a shit ton during it. Mm. Mag is good. Awesome. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Matt. Ma I said Matt. Mac. My name is Show. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I typically stream Pokemon and Genshin. Um, but we were doing a um, a Streamers Masters 8. I took, um, there was, uh, about a year ago, uh, a bunch of friends and I were all on Twitter. Um, and we were making like our dream Pokemon teams. Around the same time that in the Pokemon anime, the Masters 8 was happening. So I thought it'd be a really fun idea to put all those teams into a tournament itself. Um, and we've just been running through that, through the motions with that, finally, after a year worth of planning. Um, and it turned out really, really cool and really, really fun. I, I've been enjoying it. Um, and it seemed like chat enjoyed it, too. So, like, and now we're just doing, um, fun matches just for, just for shits and giggles. Um, but yeah, we typically stream, like, shiny hunting, Genshin Impact. I play a little bit of League here and there. 
But it, it's been a real good fun time. It's been a real, real good fun time. And I'm glad how people have been here to enjoy and have a good time with it. Thanks for that comment, Chase. <laughs> we heard it here first, chat. You heard it here first. Jason's dong feels floppy. That's a, that's a comment for the ages. That's a... <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Oh, how is Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog? I have to play that. I don't think it's free. I have, I have like, no excuse. What's it called? Streamer? Oh, don't worry about it, man. It was a lot of fun, but... Ah, uh, my screen is blocked. Ragtag Mac Jr., thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Mafia, friend, uh, my friend. You are legally obligated to summon your favorite Pokemon now. I don't make the rules. Except I, I just did, but I don't make the rules otherwise. So far, nice. To voice murder of Sonic? I, that, that'd be good for when I come back. Glalie. Oh, we know that, Jason. We know Glalie's your favorite Pokemon. Gengar, see, Gengar is just such a solid choice. Man, I was so upset when Gengar was nerfed to Oblivion with, like, Levitate getting, ri getting rid of Levitate. I was so mad because Gengar was on all my teams, except after Levitate went away. <laughs> that was back when I was more into competitive battling, though. I'm not really any good. I just do it for fun. Oh, excuse me. Benson, it seems like all our battles go down to the wire, though, dude. But it's a pleasure to have you, Mac. Do you, um, you said you were a brewer. Do you also stream? How do you brew internationally? A tragic nerf. Oh, Nuzlocke's are so much fun. I haven't done a Nuzlocke in so long. I gotta do it on stream. I think next playthrough I do is, is gonna be a Nuzlocke of something. I'm feeling another Nuzlocke. If you want to watch, like, a really scuffed Nuzlocke that I did on my YouTube, I did a Platinum Nuzlocke. I haven't finished it yet, though. Kaizo, hell no. Um, I, I, If I'm doing Kaizo, I just play it. I would just play Kaizo. Oh, Benton's switching. So like, oh, so such good games, man. That was one of my first, um, like stream collab things. Actually, I did a, a a Soul Link randomized Nuzlocke with my buddy Nick. It didn't really go too well, but we also didn't plan it a lot. We do napkin. Also, welcome to the stream, buddy. How are you doing? Napkin, I've been defeated. I'm a fraud. <laughs> Benson beat me. Hi, hi. Benson was Ash Ketchum. He was the protagonist. And I was Leon. It's all canon. Oh, Mac. Thank you for the sub with Prime, dude. What the heck? No, DK, you lost. Benson rolled you. Can I get a shout out for D and Mac, for that matter? Yeah, Benson, like, yeah, Benson fucked you over, dude. Benson's team is just crazy. Uh, we're not doing round two now because this is just a match for fun. Telling my mom. Oh, dude, you're having me up to your mom? Man, you guys are too nice. No, but DK went on a tear, dude. Little guy was actually your last survivor and got one shot by like a G-Max Lapras. Cheers. I'm not much of a drinker because like, I'm not the biggest fan of alcohol, just because I, I, I don't like the taste. But, like, if you can make me, like, a nice, sweet drink, man, I will get messed up. But I'm so, I'm, I, I feel like I'm really nice when I'm high, and, or drunk, for that matter. I'll be like, someone will say something to me, I'll be like, shut up! I'm sorry. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Bribery. Hey! He is the Team Rocket boss, bro. It makes sense. <laughs> that would have been really funny. Hey, uh, show. DK has donated five dollars. Want to swap out little guy for me, real quick? <laughs> That'd be so funny. That'd be so funny. 
The master's eight, but you're allowed to bribe me. The tourney is technically over. Because okay, so let me let me explain it a bit. After the match with Sasuke, there was a little bit of a mention that people were like, maybe we should make like the last two rounds of the Masters 8 best out of three. Or maybe we should make the finals best out of three. I really like that idea. But especially after that first, that, that semifinal round, that wasn't best out of three. I thought it unfair to make this best out of three because it really, to me, felt like I just wanted show to win. Um, which isn't necessarily true, but it I feel like it come off a way that me doing best out of three would be encouraging my trainer winning rather than Benson winning. So it felt wrong and unfair. So Benson gets the win, and we're just doing these for fun now. If that makes sense. I would love to run a best out of three because the best out of three was really, really fun um, with Sasuke, even if it was just like out of pity and BS. But I still had a good time with it. Nah, Benson just wins. <laughs> I'm always number one. I could have lost first round and I'd... <laughs> I need one victory and that's my title. In lore, Benson wasn't doing it for the title. <laughs> Benson had selfish means. He was doing it for Pokestar Studios. I did. I had my win against Jai. I did everything I needed to do. A Link to the Past is my favorite Zelda game. I love A Link to the Past. I've never beaten it. What did PayPal just take from me? DK! <laughs> A king to the past. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so guys, actually, DK is the winner of the tournament. Ooh, a trap. <laughs> DK wins. DK wins, actually. Sorry, Benson. I miss player of the worst times. Mac! Thank you for the gifted stuff to the Saul. I like to think, oh, it's you. <laughs> the Saul, you were legally obligated to tell me your favorite emote. Thank you so much for the Mac. You've been Mac. We've just met, and you're so kind already. What the heck? I don't deserve this. That is true. That is true, Benson. Mac just joined a little bit ago. Mac was also, um, Mac is a brewer, and he brewed a drink for Maui, um, and all the proceeds for it, I oh, appreciate your, oh, you're too nice, you're too nice, you're gonna make me cry, dude.
My bad, you guys are right. I should have just hit him. My bad. You're right, my bad. I personally would hit the napkin. You lost first. All right. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks, chat. Appreciate y'all. I don't think you did. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, chat. You guys are great. I gotta make something though. Honestly, I like these. This is fun. Look, you wanna try Showdown again, but the list of Poke. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. I will definitely do another Masters 8 in the future. True. But there is a lot of Pokemon. DK. Competitive trainers will tell you that, like, modern Pokemon is, like, the best it's been. But I totally disagree. I think it's it's awful being a competitive player nowadays. Someone time out Aldo. Someone time him out. Time out time out that fucker. I want that I want that twink obliterated. I want that twink obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should Benson. Ah shit. We have to pick a card. Yeah, it's okay. I understand. We have to make a design real quick. Why are we obliterating Twinks? Because Aldo told me uh, to, to look at the dictionary for a hit. Yeah, it was fun. Restructuring the rankings a little bit. Naturally, except I make a team this time. Yeah! Masters 8 except doubles would go hard. Masters 8 except doubles would go hard. I think next one will be. Well, lore-wise, right? Benson is from Alola. And Alola currently lacks a champion. Because the Saul... So, in lore, the Saul gave up his seat as the Alolan champion. To become the uh, frontier brain. So Benson is the um, Sasuke is the the um, president of that association. So he's trying to convince either Benson or um, Benson or the Saul to come back. And after his showing, it might have proven that they they might need to. So Be we could have it, especially after their match. That Benson gives up his seat as Unovan champion to become the Alolan champion again. And Napkin takes his spot. The wheel keeps screwing us over with RNG, so we keep hitting it. Oh, yep. I have missed home, Nappy.
One of my boys is giving me very most of build ideas. God, I look at you missed but one. It's fun, man. It's fun. Your Feramosa went fucking crazy, dude. Your Feramosa and uh, Ryogo's or Serena's Garatina are the reasons we either have to nerf Legends next time or just not include them because you guys went so insane. Sorry, I'm making something for Benson to celebrate. Focus size, you turn. Ooh, true. We also had no items. I think items would change a lot in this tournament. Why are there no diglets? No one wanted one on their team. I forgot Benson's team already. I'll give you a real team for sure. <laughs> Sounds good. But you gotta keep in mind, I make the movesets and they're gonna be shit. Actually, I'm not going to put the Glade card in. Where's Dawn Queen? I think I just do it, aren't they? Ironically, Haxorus has, like, no EX cards, by the way. Well, that, that was hilarious. Don't mind me, chat. Nope, wrong one. Where'd he go? What the fuck? Nope, wrong one. Ew, AI art. Stop, get out of my face. Mm. Oh, wait. I shouldn't be showing my internet history just in case. There's nothing incriminating on there, but... <laughs> but you guys might assume otherwise.
No, oh, shit, I added it twice. Dominic, you okay? You okay? All right, there you go. Benson is our champion. Where's my money? <laughs> you guys made a deal. Aldo rigged it for Benson. Bet. Yeah, a deal that's not even Benson knows of. True! Alright, I'll tweet this out real quick. Clear. Thank you for all the support through it all, guy. What the fuck? DK, what is this? The story itself is hilarious, but like, that one. Flap. Ah, flap. Yeah, you don't want to misgender it, Aldo. Come on. Every time I got, yeah, you're so right. Then there we go. There you go, Benson. Now, 
Now all of China knows you, uh, you won. All right. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I've never heard this song before in my life, but it just kind of hits. That was nice. I think we're going to raid Sammy. I think we're going to raid into Sammy. He's doing Spinning Saturday. If you don't know Sammy, he's a good friend of mine, a shiny hunter. Um, and on spinning Saturdays, he takes a bunch of different shiny hunts, puts them on a wheel, and spins them every couple hours, I believe. Um, and it makes it makes the uh, what is it? It makes the shiny hunts go round. So we're gonna raid him. Mm. Custom re message. The streamers masters eight has concluded. Dude, his stash is insane. After such epic and and thrilling matches, the Committee. I can't spell committee. That's so awkward. I don't know what he's talking about right now. I I I auto corrected it. It's fine. Thank you. Are you going to go res? Um, I might go talk to some friends because I had some friends who wanted to tell me some things or talk to me about something. And then I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to chill or start packing or continue packing. That being said, for everyone in the stream, I will be going on vacation for the rest of October. Um, so I will, I will still be around the Discord. Um, I'll still be playing a few games for the next few days, but I will relatively not be available. So there will be no streams for all of Spooky Month. So I apologize. At least on my own. My own streams. If I'm on other streams, we'll see what happens. But Sammy's no cup. This will be our raid message for sub. But if you aren't subbed, this will be the one. Oh, I should uh, do my shout out. We have a YouTube, guys. We have a TikTok. Uh, we have a Twitter, as you guys saw. Um, we have a throne. Uh, we have, well, of course we have a Discord. Please join if you haven't already. Um, we have merch, and we have a Humble Bundle. And I really appreciate if you guys can send some donations. If not, that's really fine too. Thank you, of course. 
We're gonna raid Sammy. We're gonna raid the boy. Why did my YouTube just... I clicked my own link, I guess? Sammer time. I would normally find someone new, but I do not have the energy to do that right now. If you guys can join the raid for Sammy, I'd really appreciate that. Let's go show him um, some love on this day. Yes, thank you. It was fun. I'll make an announcement on Discord um, before we end, but or before I um I leave for vacation. So you guys you guys will hear a bit more about it. But um, we gotta leave with uh with the exit song again because I'm a nerd. Thank you for the um for the fun guys. Stay happy, Sambo. Much love. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye bye. Oh, I'm tired. Repeat the same thing.